Yeah, Joanne, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle is indeed very angry. He's joining us now live to tell us more about this. So, first of all, just tell us how this all started. So, Warren Mayor Jim Fouts posted something on Facebook last night, really suggesting that we could have a, a mini Flint water crisis here. Yeah, to exploit Flint in any regard is uh, completely unacceptable. I mean, that was a crisis in and of itself. For anybody to even talk about the word Flint uh, when it comes to water issues, uh, I find that very uh, displeasing. So, with that being said, uh, you know, the mayor decided to post something without calling anyone from the health department, anyone from the Great Lakes Water Authority, Detroit Water, giving an indication that there's something with drinking water. And we were inundated today with phone calls from residents and people from the schools, other elected officials, because of a post. Well, I come to find out media was calling me. They were calling him. Nobody was getting hold of him. And I, at 6 o'clock this morning called his office. Mm -hmm. I left a message there and then I called his own personal cell phone mm -hmm. and still had yet to get a call back from the mayor. I had our health department call the mayor, call his water department. His water department even indicated that they were blindsided by this. So our health department went to work to figure out what this might be because we don't even know what he's talking about. They called everyone from the, the health departments uh, in, in the state of Michigan talking to uh, Great Lakes Water Authority, Detroit Water. There is no indication whatsoever that there's an issue dealing with drinking water here in Macomb County. So to create that kind of hysteria was unacceptable behavior by the largest city in the, in, in the county of Macomb uh, and its mayor. I mean, I, I was absolutely appalled by that. And you said that you were, you were inundated. You said that it created quite a hysteria, understandably, when residents hear that this may be a possibility and then just not being given any, any details. How frustrating was it for you to not even be able to reach him? Well, you know what, it's frustrating, but then again, uh, I, I didn't find that uh, unusual. I mean, this is, uh, this is somewhat of a pattern, if you will, and I've seen this happen before where he wants to get the media's attention, he wants to get the public attention on something else that's underlying or whatever his concern might be, but create some kind of a concern, but to use the words flint. That's why people were so upset, because they're talking about their children, saying, you know, I don't want my children getting led, should I be drinking the water, the school's calling us because they're concerned. What he did is he created hysteria just to get attention for something, and yet uh, we don't know what that something really is, but I've got to tell you, whatever it is, it isn't something that we can't handle, resolve, or are working on. But uh, that, that is just unacceptable to exploit Flint uh, in this type of crisis. Again, bottom line, no issue with our water. About a half an hour ago, the mayor of Warren did put out a new post basically saying that he wants to assure everyone in Warren that the water is safe and that there is no environmental problem in our city. Isn't that surprising? I mean, yet he hasn't called the executive. He hasn't called back our health department yet. His water department has completely blindsided this, but yet we're using social media to downplay because I think he realized what he did was unacceptable. And uh, that in and of itself, I think, says a lot uh, about a public official. This should never happen. You should never create this kind of hysteria, uh, especially exploiting the crisis in the city of Flint. And just real quick, where do you go from here? Are you hoping to have a face-to-face -face meeting with him about this? You know, I'm always open to have conversations with him. He calls if there's road issues, if we have these conversations. And again, a lot of times when he's calling, it's a, you know, he makes a bigger issue out of what it is that we can resolve. And, you know, I've always been able to do that. There isn't another mayor in the entire county, if you will, uh, even township supervisor. Not one other municipal leader that I've had an issue with uh, regards to, you know, how they approach things. And, uh, you know, this approach... Boy, I, I've had some that he's done, but he's elevated his game in this one here by going after a public fear that should never have been created. Executive Mark Hackle, thank you so much for joining us. Again, the bottom line here, there is no issue with the drinking water here in Macomb County. I want to add that we also left a message for Warren Mayor Jim Fouts earlier this morning. His secretary told me that he was unavailable, but that she would pass the message along. Of course, we're hoping to talk to him as well. Reporting live in Mount Clemens, Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.